Hey, Red Raiders, how many of you guys are in classes that hmm, maybe you don't feel that confident about or maybe you don't think that you're going to get the grade that you want? Well, don't worry. Today, I'm going to be covering over dropping and withdrawing from classes. I feel like this topic doesn't really get that much attention, so I'm going to go over a few tips to hopefully help you guys decide whether you should keep that class or drop it. So let's go on with the video. Before I start, I want to make sure that you guys know that there is no shame in withdrawing from classes. You could be the smartest person in the room and still withdraw from a class. Or maybe you have like other things going on in your life that's affecting your performance in school. But yeah, don't be don't be ashamed, don't be embarrassed. Everyone has their own reasons for dropping a class. All right, so the first thing that I want to highlight is keep track of the deadlines in the semester. Here at Texas Tech for the fall semester of 2022, the last day to drop without receiving any financial penalty was September 12th. So this is usually like a few days after classes start. The same goes for the spring semester of uh, 2023. That, that date is January 27th. I have them on a little sticky note, but yeah. Uh, always make sure to keep track of these deadlines for no financial penalty. The reason these deadlines are two weeks away from the beginning of classes is so that you have time to talk with student business services and also meet up with your financial aid advisor if you're worried about money or maybe if you're worried about how you're gonna pay for classes this semester. So that is a great thing that they have that they give you a little period to figure things out that way you can see if you wanna continue with the class. The next deadline is kind of like the last stop on the train. This is the pass-fail declaration deadline. Here at Texas Tech for the fall 2022 semester, that deadline is going to be November 21st and in the spring it is going to fall April 18th. So this deadline is very important if you're worried that a class might affect your GPA. If you miss this deadline and you get a grade in the class that maybe you didn't want, whether that be a BSc or maybe you just uh, didn't do well in the class at all, this will affect your GPA. But if you do um, withdraw from the class before that deadline, that will count as a withdrawal and it will not affect your GPA. So that is something to keep in mind. With that being said, I wanted to highlight a very important rule that barely gets any recognition. So that is the six drop rule in Texas. To sum up the six drop rule, basically you cannot drop more than six classes in your entire college career here at Texas. So whether that be maybe you took classes in a community college or classes in a public college, you cannot drop more than six of them. However, there are special circumstances and exceptions, but if you do wanna get more into that, I'd recommend talking with your advisor. Speaking about advisors, number two, speak with your advisor. Your advisors are here to help you make these decisions because they're very familiar with the degree plan, the curriculum, and also the professors. I'd recommend to reach out to them, maybe shoot them an email, or maybe next time that you're on campus, maybe swing around their office to see if it's open. That way you can have like a quick chat to make sure that you aren't going to go off of the degree plan or maybe that's not going to hold you back because they are also responsible of making sure that you graduate on time as much as you are. So yeah, make sure that you speak with your advisors. All right, number three, make sure you double check with your scholarships and your financial aid. A quick fact, if you would take more than 12 credit hours, then you are considered a full-time student and you're eligible for like scholarships and financial aid. But if you drop below that, then you are no longer considered a full-time student. So with that being said, uh, if you drop and you are no longer considered a full-time student and you do lose those privileges, then you could end up paying more for your classes even though you're taking less. So yeah, double check with your scholarships and financial aid to make sure that you are still on track financially as well. All right, number four, this one might be the most obvious, but talk with your professors. It is safe to say that professors want you to do good. They want you to move forward. They want you to continue your education and get a job and everything. So the main thing that I would take away is make sure that you talk with your professors because they can really help you out in the long run. Maybe um, there are extra credit opportunities or maybe they're doing a different way of grading depending on how the class is doing. Uh, definitely speak with your professor because I've had a professor that at the end of the semester, um, sorry, at the end of the semester, he gave a curve, but he didn't tell anyone until like three weeks or two weeks before classes ended. So yeah, make sure you're communicating with your professors because what's the point of dropping a class when at the end of the day, you could have passed it or maybe you could have gotten an A. So yeah, talk with your professor. All right, so quick story time here at Texas Tech in my Physics 2 class over the summer. Um, Basically, everyone was kind of struggling because it was a very fast-paced class and it was also a very heavy subject that we were covering over such a short time. So on the first test, I didn't do that good well. On the second test, I kind of did better. 
but a lot of the class they um were also in the same boat that i was that we didn't really know how the final was going to be and there was no homework to really help our grade so it was very test heavy and we were all freaking out so by one of the last lectures i think more than half of the class dropped there was about like 12 students left in a class of like 35 um but at the end of the day the final was like super easy uh, we could pick some of the questions that we wanted to answer so if we were about, like very confident about a certain topic or a certain issue we could answer that question without having to answer the things we weren't that confident about so things like that are some things that you might not know but um yeah trust your professors because at the end of the day they are the ones that make the test they're the ones that make the rules and they're the ones that do put your grade in at the end anyway guys we hope you enjoyed the video and we hope you learned something a uh, quick recap before we go though make sure that you speak with your professor make sure that you speak with your advisor make sure that you are on track of the deadlines and also make sure that you are aware of financial aid and scholarships so yeah, with that being said, we hope you enjoyed it and keep on lookout for any upcoming videos. Next week we have a first gen resources. So that is going to be a fun video to watch. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you later. See ya.